what's good with y'all in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a code redeem hey um but i just realized i literally just realized i spelled redeem wrong but anyway um i'm gonna show you guys how to make a code redeems uh system sorry system and stuff where you have a gui you type in a code code one or whatever and then it gives you coins cash whatever wh whatever the whole um whatever the player is supposed to get in return pretty much and then it obviously saves that they've already used the code so they can't use it again unless you, that's how you want your system to be but majority of systems don't want it they, you want it to save after it's been used once before this video was requested to me by one of my subscribers so yeah appreciate the suggestion and yeah let's get straight into it okay so i already have it all set up because really and truly um it's kind of a little complex to the point where like i could remake it from scratch but i honestly might forget certain parts in yeah, and in, in the video would end up being like, like 10, 15 minutes long. So I didn't want that. So I just already, I just had it all prepared and laid out so I could just review it with y'all. But first things first, you're going to need a remote event. Head on over to replicated storage and insert a remote event. And I want you to name that, I didn't even do that. I want you to name that remote event code redeem event, right? Then after you've done that, you're going to want to, of course, create your code redeem GUI, right? So let me go ahead and enable that real quick. So at the top, pretty much, I just had the codes, right? That was just an example of just generally like, you know, like having your, uh, having codes, you know, it's kind of how it is in some games. They just have the code at the top of the screen, but here's the text box, right? Here you enter in that you type in the code and then the script pretty much sends it over via a remote event. So you want to insert a local script into the text box. You want to use a variable to get the code redeem event that simple, then focus loss, which pretty much means when like a prayer player presses enter or they click off of the text box it'll it'll um fire their remote event so it'll send over the text so i'm doing script that parent that text i'm sending the text over to the server side and that's all you got to do for the local script because to get the text you have to get it from the local side so you're required to obviously have a local in server side script because you can't access data stories on on a local script nor would you even want to if that was even possible because that could be uh, easily exploited by uh, exploiters but yeah but anyway so we're done there so you make your gui insert a text box and you guys can name it the same as i named mine and stuff right i didn't do any customization like yeah i didn't do any customization so yeah i could just leave it like that aside from making the text like scaled and everything but yeah so head on over to server script service and you want to insert a server script you could you can name it code redeem and then you could put server you know to distinguish between the two server and local right and then open the script up it is a lengthy and long script so let's get straight into it okay so first things first you're gonna need the code redeem event of course you're gonna need to use a data store to save to save pretty much you're saving pretty much whether or not the player has used the codes right then you're gonna need two tables one table for the codes like the name of the code and then the second for the code amount now you want this to be um i don't know the what's the word like kind of in sync if that makes sense like you want the values to be in the same position to like to coincide with each other if that makes sense like for example the first value in the codes in the, in the codes table right is code one the first value in the code amount is 100 right so obviously the amount for code one would be 100 and vice versa for code two and 200 right if that makes sense so pretty much you just want to go in order if that makes sense so it's not really that hard but yeah if you wanted to add another code you would just press enter type it put a comma and yeah that simple and same with code amount okay so when a player joins we're creating code status which is a folder this folder will hold the statuses of all the codes uh, available and stuff right so now leader stats folder to have the cache then value amount is equal to codes pretty much the number this uh hashtag means the number of codes right the number of codes so pretty much the way i set it up is honestly it makes it very easy and simple I use a 4iv in pairs, or not 4iv in pairs loop, sorry. A, well, I use both actually. A 4i loop and a 4iv in pairs loop so that it automatically will create um, the amount of values to match this. To make, put that in simple terms, I have two codes, right? So it's going to make two values. If I had three, it would make three. If I had four, it would make four, right? So pretty much you guys can continue to add on more codes, as many codes and code amounts as you want and it'll automatically create it for you so you wouldn't have to change anything in the script it's kind of like so it's kind of automated in a sense so yeah but then yeah i use a p call and stuff like that because you know we're saving we're dealing with data right here retrieve the data by getting the player's user id 
then for i is equal to value <clears throat> value amount which is the number of codes and then so pretty much you're counting down from the value amount to one right then code redeemed is a bool value because you know you want it to be uh, if, if it's false then that means the player hasn't redeemed the code if it's true the player has redeemed the code right so and then you wanted the name to be code to distinguish between each individual value it's code then the number of the code so this is code one so code number one right and then it would be code number two redeem uh that redeems and then you know you have the value so yeah then you do if i2 is equal to value amount then code redeem that value is equal to v2 this is pretty much if a player has data if they have data then it would uh search through the data table to then uh, automatically set the values to false or true depending on the player's data and stuff then of course you set up the cash this is for if a player already has cash because the first value in the data store is cash right and then everything after would be your codes because since you're creating more codes it that's more values than data store so you would want to you would want your codes to be after the already pre-made i guess you could say stats that are within the data if that makes sense like let me just make sense okay so you want cash to be first say if you had like kills and deaths you would want kills to be second deaths to be third you you pretty much want the values that aren't codes to come before the codes if that makes sense but you would have to make some adjustments to the system which wouldn't be that much stuff but yeah then this else statement this is for people who don't have any data when they don't have any data you just create you do the same thing create it and you set the default value to false they're not redeemed set the cash value to zero right and then you parent it to the leader stats and you parent the code redeemed values to the code status folder. Then this is just the while not success do loop and stuff that'll it'll repeat pretty much over and over again uh, until success, which pretty much ensures that a player's data, data will be loaded and stuff without error. Then right here is where when a player leaves, it saves their data. So it's the same thing. So you have a data table. It's a it looks a little different. If you've seen any of my other data saving videos, it does look a little different. So you know, first you want to insert the cache value because that's the first value. If you haven't heard me say this before, let me tell you how this works. When you're saving data to a table, you need to save it in the order you want it to be, right? Like how the first value I'm saving is cache, and that and that's the first. And if you go up here, you scroll up here, you'll see cache data data one data data whatever right it's one you need it to be in that exact order oh sorry scroll down too far right here right then you want to do player .code status get children then you want to insert each one now keep in mind since it's a four IV pairs loop it'll go from the first to the second to the third like it goes in numerical order and stuff it goes yeah so it goes in ascending order so you wouldn't have to worry about like if it's saving in the correct order and stuff because it's going from the first created value so it would have to count one two three and so forth then you set a sync to save it to the player's user ID, and then you save the data table. And then this is just a while not success through loop to ensure that data is saved, right? And then here is where the actual code redeemed portion, like where you're redeeming the code and getting your rewards and everything. Here's where the complex part. I know this probably looks very confusing and stuff. So, okay. So to pretty much explain it, let me close. I want to close these functions because I want to be able to kind of scroll up. I want to be able to scroll up and stuff to the tables yeah there we go. i can i want to be able to easily scroll up to the table so i can show y'all okay so i'm gonna break down each line to y'all so if table define so pretty much if you find within the codes table the text pretty much if whatever the player inputted into the gui matches anything any words in this um any string let's just say in this uh table then it will proceed with value table .find codes text right then this is returning the value of it like the position the numerical position of the code in the table since this is the first since this is the first value within the table it would be number one this position is number one then this position would be number two and so forth right so it's saving that value then you're going to get all the values in code amount do if i is equal to value so pretty much this is saying since this is the first value it's searching this table and then you're finding whichever value is one this is which position is one 100 is obviously in, it's the first in the table so its position would be one so the values equal each other code one is equal to 100 right like 100 cash you could say right and then you, of course you're gonna use a peek out because um you're changing like even though you're not technically dealing with data saving you would still want to kind of ensure that the value is updated just in case you know you know what i'm saying like because just in case like if the value for whatever reason if it was overloaded or something you just want to ensure because you wouldn't want people redeeming a code multiple times unless that's what you want you know for your game but yeah so this pretty much 
searches through the code statuses, gets the children of the code status, which is um excuse me, the folder that has all the values and stuff. It checks, it runs two checks. It first makes sure it checks if text, which is what the player sent over, it should be the code name redeemed is equal to v2.name to make sure one, it's checking the right code redeemed value. And two, it's checking to make sure that the value is false. Because if remember, if it's false, that means the player has not redeemed the code. If it's true, then the player has redeemed the code. So of course, if it's false, that means the player hasn't redeemed it. And then the next thing would be to set the value to true, which would then indicate that the player has redeemed the code. Then you, you would change the uh, player's cache dot value is equal to whatever V is, which is the code amount, which is in here, whichever one correlates with each other. So if you put in code two, you would get 200 added on to your uh, cache. And then this is just ensuring that uh, this is literally just ensuring that that the player's code is redeemed. Um, the value is updated as well as their cache is updated. And yeah, it's that simple, right? um side note make sure you have data stores enabled i have a video at the end that shows how to enable data stores if you don't have that enabled and stuff but yeah go ahead and test this to show you guys um i changed the data store name from the one i was testing so i should have zero and everything okay so i'm good there so if i type in code one as you guys can see i got 100 cash if i go to players as you guys can see we just have to have my cash right here then i have my code status right because I think, yeah, it's probably best I show you all this too, because it makes more sense when I show you all instead of y'all trying to imagine. So the value was set to true because I um, redeemed the code. But if I go to code two, code two is set to false, right? Now, if I try to enter in code one again, watch what happens. Nothing because the value was set to true, which means I already redeemed the code, so I cannot redeem it again, right? But code two, however, is set to false. Now watch code two change. If I do code two, my cache is going to go to 300 and the value is going to be set to true. So watch, boom. Value was set to true, and my cache is set to 300. That's how you make a code redeem uh, uh, system stuff. Uh, very simple and stuff. Like I said, if you want to add on uh, more codes, you simply just do code three, comma, proceed. Then you go here, 300, comma. There you go. It's like it's that simple. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If you want, if you want access to the script or generally this model, the model literally includes everything, the GUI, the scripts, the remote event, everything. You can become a channel member. You can find out how to do that in the description. You can just press the join button next to subscribe and then pay the three dollars a month fee or whatever and stuff. But you could learn more about that in the description and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if the video was helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you all for watching.